Whoa, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil. And today, this is going to be a review on Basketball Wives LA, Season 4, Episode 4. Let's go. Bitch. So the scene opens up where they left off last week, where Jackie was telling Drea that Orlando is fucking with her daughter, Chantel. So... Jackie like, no, baby, you got the wrong one. That ain't my old man or whatever. Chantel was fucking with my old man's best friend at one point, but that is not my old man. So Jackie like, no, baby, I have the text messages in my phone. So Dre reads the text messages and shit like that or whatever. And let me say this. This whole Sunday, bitch, Dre, you should have backed the fuck out Sunday. All that anger you had with Orlando, bitch, you should have took that shit out on that whole Sunday because that hoe was just too involved and that hoe was giving me too much extra on the side. Before Jackie could even get it out or whatever, this whole Sunday on the side, like, Jackie, just tell her. Tell her what I know. Tell her what I know. And all this is if she's seen it or whatever. And then she's saying that the shit really ain't affect her or whatever. Bitch, you ain't got nothing to do with it. Why the fuck you worry about... Bitch, what you mean it, it didn't affect you? Like, Sunday, bitch, girl, you really fucking blew me in this episode, bitch. And I can't wait till one of them hoes beat the fuck out you. Dre, you were sitting right next to that hoe. You should have backhanded the piss out that hoe. Because you knew that hoe was playing with you. And Jackie was wrong for even fucking saying that shit around everybody with an audience. And then the whole Dre was like, well... You know, if you thought this was a sensitive situation, you should have handled it as a sensitive situation. And Jackie was like, well, I would have, but some people, and she looked at Sunday. So then Drea turns around and was like, so you wanted this bitch to tell me this shit in front of everybody? Girl, no, ma'am. I just did not like how that shit went or whatever. So after Drea reads the text messages, her and the only real friend she have, Malaysia, walks off or whatever, and then, you know, they leave or whatever, and they go to this place next door or whatever. So they sitting down talking and shit, and Malaysia was like, you know, I felt real uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I shouldn't have even heard that. I shouldn't have been in a room with y'all when y'all was talking about, you know, something like that. Dre was like, yeah, you are right. I know this is your situation or whatever, but all I can tell you is this. You do need to go home and check him or whatever and let him know. If you plan on fucking every red girl... Out here, you know, bitch, I'm not having that type of shit or whatever. Child. So then the scene changes to Jackie. And now Jackie having a fucking family meeting with Doug and Chantel. She starts off like, now nah, I know you're going to be mad. And I know what I promised you. And I know you're not going to be happy about this. And Doug looking like, oh, Lord, just come out with it. Jackie tell you a whole story before she say what the fuck she got to say. What the fuck going on, Jackie, girl? You need to learn how to tell a story, bitch. How to spill tea. Just spill the fucking tea. The main part, you know? So then, the girl Chantel looking like, oh my God, I know this bitch not about to say what I think she about to say when I specifically told her ass not to say nothing. What the fuck is wrong with this lady? So Jackie spills the tea or whatever, finally, bitch. And then, you know, Chantel was like, it was nothing to tell you, Dad. You know, it was really nothing. I don't talk to no Orlando. I don't even have this nigga number no more. You see what I'm saying? We didn't have sex. You know, it was nothing to tell. We didn't date. And that girl, that girl fucking sat there and told you that they did not date, that they didn't have sex. Bitch, Jackie, that girl told you all that shit. And you took what that fucking girl said. Ran and twisted it and making it out of this big old fucking shebang, bitch. Stop that shit, Jackie. And after Chantel, you know, said what she had to say, then Jackie gonna say, well, I shouldn't have told Drea because Drea wasn't mature enough to handle the situation. Bitch, if you ask me, Drea handled the situation like a lady. Drea gave you your phone back with no problems, said thank you, and exit stage left. Now, bitch, if that was me, bitch, I'd have been ready to fucking fight somebody, bitch. I'd have been, I'd have felt played. How the fuck you bought that shit up in front of all them other hoes? Then I really would have felt played when this whole plan with me and I don't even know her like that. So, yeah, bitch, I would, bitch, we'd have been fighting over there. So, bitch, to me, Drea handled it like a fucking lady, if you ask me.
the so then the scene changes to British and um Sunday and they at this dog store bitch trying to find something to wear for themselves with their dog asses bitch. I do not like them hoes, bitch. And bitch, I hope y'all hoes watch these reviews, bitch. British, bitch, you nasty pumpkin, out of shape, bad built, upside down face hoe. Bitch, no ma'am, girl. And what's that other whole name? Sunday girl. You don't get the fuck with that croissant you always wearing on top of your fucking head with that nasty ass makeup, bitch. Please, out of here with them late ass fashions, bitch. I do not like y'all hoes. Now, like I was saying, they was in a dog store trying to find something to wear. And that whole Sunday started telling British what happened at the thing with Drea and Jackie or whatever. And British just, before, you know, this whole could even get the sentence out, British like, oh, she dumb. She falling for that? Like, that whole stupid. I can't believe that she fell for that. Bitch, let me tell you something, British bitch. Everybody, bitch, males and fucking females, everybody is going to be stupid for at least that one fucking person. Ain't nobody going to be able to tell you nothing about this person. You ain't going to believe nothing you hear about this person. And bitch, you blinded by everything this person is doing, bitch. That shit happens to every fucking body, British. So for you to say that girl dumb and stupid and all that, girl, you could... Girl, look. Come here, British. Come here. Come a little closer. Now, why you came on this show before we even know your name starting all this fucking mess and not even giving us a chance to like you? Huh? Now, go sit down some fucking well. So then, British tells Sunday how she gonna fuck with Drea about it at um, Jackie Glad event. Child. Girl, these hoes... These hoes really get on my fucking nerves. And people be asking, like, why you do so much cursing in them basketball wives reviews? Bitch, because I don't like none of them hoes except for um, Malaysia and Drea. So I be having to give it to all them other hoes. I don't really curse like that in my have and have not reviews. But it is what it is. Fuck, however I'm feeling, bitch, that's what I'm going to say. You still watching it. So then the scene changes to Ariane and Malaysia. And they in this store looking at invitations and shit. But the trip part about it is like the weekend before the fucking event. What the fuck? Girl, what y'all thought y'all... How y'all... Look, I ain't... Child, look. So, like I said, they was in the store looking for invitations and shit. This girl looking for the address so she can have the lady to put it on the invitations and print the invitations. Bitch, she don't have the address, girl. So then the scene changes to Jackie riding in the car. And I must say, Jackie, you be looking cute with that little vibe and you, when you be having your little makeup on point, bitch. You was looking cute in that little car. Only if you could look cute in your confessionals now, bitch. But we're going to take it one step at a time. Anyway, so Jackie calls Ariana, whatever their whole name is, and asks her, what's up with the invitations? Like, you sent the invitations out? Ariane like, oh, they coming along. Jackie like, what you mean they coming along? She was like, oh, I lost the little envelope that I had everything in. So, you know, you, you think you could give me the list with all the people names and stuff on it? Jackie is like, oh, my fucking God. Like, what the fuck is going on? But Jackie, bitch, that is all your fault. You ain't never heard the old saying, bitch. I know you would have heard it, Jackie, bitch. You, if not nobody else, bitch, that old ass saying. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. I know you heard that saying. Bitch, you probably made that saying up, Jackie. I'm just saying, bitch, you is kind of up there. But shout out for um, holding the LGBT community down, though. Well, then the scene changes to Drea. And Drea done gooped the Orlando child and got him thinking that she missing him so much. So he came back home or whatever for the weekend or however it went or whatever. And she talking to him, you know, because some things you just have to ask people face to face to, so that you can see their reaction. So you could get your own fucking answer. You know what I'm saying? So they talking or whatever. And she was like, remember when you told me something about Jackie's daughter or whatever? Why you ain't tell me that you was the one fucking with her? Bitch, this bitch, like he had the scene of ghost child. He's so like, uh, uh. Bitch was a dead fucking giveaway, bitch. If you gonna do it, bitch, do it right. You supposed to be fucking coming with it. 
bitch, you know, bitch, you supposed to convince me that, bitch, I am totally tripping. But no, child, these niggas want to cheat and don't know how to fucking cheat. That's the problem, bitch. Women going to always be a step ahead of niggas because niggas too fucking dumb. Like they say in all Paris is burning. It's queens, then it's females, and then it's males. Just the bottom of the chain, bitch. They just have no common sense, girl. They just can't pull off a stunt to save their life. So anyway, girl, so she asked him, you know, what's going on or whatever. He like, man, I don't even remember how that girl looked. That girl was ugly. She was chubby. The only thing I remember about her is she had a brow mole. She was chubby. Girl, Orlando, bitch, I am not falling for that. Bitch, you talking about she don't remember how the girl looked, but yet you describing the fucking girl. I thought she didn't remember how she looked. Then you gonna try to downplay it and say it was only for two days. First, your friend was fucking with her. Then you ain't know what the fuck Dre was talking about. Then... She only was here for two days. Girl, look. I'm not here for that. Bitch, I can't stand no lying ass nigga, bitch. I really can't. Because I feel like you playing with my motherfucking intelligence. You know what I'm saying, bitch? And if you think I'm stupid enough to believe the shit that you telling me, you need your ass popped. So that's why I usually fucking get in trouble with the law for popping the fuck out these niggas. But I've been through anger management classes and I'm getting better. And I, I really just didn't feel how he was trying to downplay Chantel. Bitch, you was featuring that girl. Bitch, the text messages was in the phone. Then you gonna talk about you don't remember how she looked and, you know, all the homies smashed and not none of the homies don't fuck with her. She's a has-been. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so fucking whack. You hear me? She wasn't a has-been when you was trying to fuck with her. Why you trying to downplay it now? Why you trying to do that fucking girl that? That's cold. Then Orlando was like, I'm sorry. Like, okay, bitch, shut up. I'm sorry. Like, Andrea was right. He was acting nonchalant about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, whatever. Bitch, you was acting like that, Orlando, bitch. Andrea should have popped you. <laughs> then y'all don't fucking listen to me, bitch. That's my fucking resolution for everything, bitch. Girl, so then the scene changes to Jackie Glad event, girl. Tell me why Jackie walks in there, bitch. All Jackie got is a venue, bitch. And a few things that a few vendors done dropped off for her to put in her little fucking... A few donations, bitch. For her to put in a few gift bags, girl. No, ma'am. Now, don't get me wrong. The venue was nice or whatever, but bitch could have had a few balloons, a piece of cake, some finger sandwiches, a deviled egg, or something. So now she calling everybody. Bitch, why everybody five or ten minutes away, girl? I mean, Drea wasn't supposed to do nothing but have a checklist any fucking way. So nothing still would have been fucking done if Jack, I mean, if Drea would have came. So she called Malaysia. Malaysia was five minutes away. She called Brandy. Brandy was five minutes away. She called Ariane. Ariane was five minutes away. Bitch, everybody was five or ten minutes away, girl. So when all them hoes finally do get there... Sunday got there first or whatever. So, Sunday, you know, helping her get together or whatever. Now, keep in mind, bitch, Sunday was not there when Jackie got there, bitch. Sunday got there after Jackie got there, which means that hoe was late, too. Okay? Now, keep that in mind. So, this bitch helps her with the little decorations and do what all what they can do right quick or whatever. So, then Malaysia walks in. Then, next thing you know, this whole Sunday, like, oh, these hoes so late. Everybody's so late. Bitch, you just walked in the door two minutes ago, girl. How the fuck you gonna call somebody else late, bitch? Go sit down, bitch. And see, that's why I fucking love Malaysia. Because Malaysia not gonna let y'all hoes play with her. Malaysia is classy. She knows how to act like a lady. She ain't gotta act all hood and shit with you hoes. But you hoes know where the fuck she coming from. That whole Malaysia said, bitch... I'm a train to go killer, bitch. And we can go at it at this glad event, bitch. I like that whole Malaysia, baby. Shout out to Malaysia. Hey, Malaysia. That's my fucking friend, girl. The thing about it, bitch, when Sunday walked in, Sunday was like, Jackie was telling her what was going on. Sunday like, see, I told you. I told you. I told you. Why the fuck would you want to kick a friend while they down, bitch? I wouldn't. If I was Jackie, I wouldn't have wanted to hear all that. I told you so shit. 
Bitch, get your stupid ass over here and start filling some of these fucking bags. So now they all in the huddle or whatever. And, you know, it's, it's written all over Malaysia face. And Malaysia, like, they like, what's wrong? Malaysia, like, fuck, these hoes, I get here or whatever. These hoes, like, they got a fucking attitude and then look right at Sunday. Okay, bitch? Malaysia ain't throw no slang, bitch. She was letting you know she was talking to your ass. So Wait, bitch, y'all heard how Jackie said... Dre done already missed two of my weddings. And that whole sound like she was so fucking serious, girl. Y'all know that whole get married every year. Bitch, ain't nobody got time to keep coming and see the same two people get married over and over and over, bitch. I can see if y'all was renewing y'all vows after 10 years. But I, bitch, I wish somebody would send me an invitation every year to see the same two people get married. Unless I'm just not doing nothing that day, bitch. I come to the reception and eat and drink, bitch. But I'm not about to keep watching y'all get married over and over. I'm sorry, baby. No. The fuck? Bitch, I feel like we playing. Why the fuck? Girl, girl don't matter, bitch. Why the fuck you keep walking down the aisle every year? But that's cute for them if that's how they want to spend their money, child. Now we got this whole British walk in there. Like, Malaysia, like, hey. So all after the fact, this whole... This whole British, you know, sits down or whatever. Then she like, you know what? I don't like how that whole Malaysia keep giving me these dry ass highs or whatever. So then she walk up to Malaysia and asks Malaysia, can she talk to her? And Malaysia like, right now? She was like, yeah. So then they go walk to the side or whatever. And British was like, you know, I don't know you and you don't know me. So I'm not understanding why every time I speak to you, it's a dry ass high. Malaysia was like, bitch, look. I said, hey, in general, to everybody, but on both situations, at your party and just not. So, bitch, don't come at me with that stupid shit. So then, you know, British just started trying to get out of control and shit, and Malaysia put that whole back in line, bitch. Don't fucking play with me, okay? Bitch, I ain't got to speak to you if I don't want to, bitch. I don't even know you. What the fuck? Girl, out of here, bitch. And that's how you know, bitch, the ones, bitch, the fucking empty bucket make the loudest noise, girl, because, bitch, they all was blowing, and Malaysia was just as calm, and I bet Malaysia would have walked that hoe up in there. Bitch, you doing all that fucking bucket, and Malaysia would have dragged your ass had she got a hold to you, just like she did that whole sister. Well, you guys, that's what happened on Basketball Wives LA Season 4, Episode 4, you heard me? I'm your boy, New Orleans Lil. Thanks for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe up top. Leave that comment down below. But first, hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle. Want the hoes to subscribe and comment just a little. Hey, hey, diddle, diddle, got Lil in the middle. Want the hoes to subscribe and comment just a little. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Now leave your fucking comment. Work your fucking comment. Write your fucking comment. Mix your fucking comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Leave your comment. Work your comment. Write your comment. Mix your comment. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. Mix mama. Mix mix mama. Mix mix. Peace. It's your boy, New Orleans Lil.